right, Todd is back full forecast time. It's, I feel like I'm at a point now <clears throat> where I don't really want to talk too much about the, the weather we're having, so I don't want to jinx it. Mm. Uh, I've lived here for <clears throat> years, and uh, right. I know what things are like this time of year usually, so I'm just going to, if I pretend I to not put it in the ether, maybe Mother Nature won't notice won't that even, we're, we're doing okay. Won't even know what's going yeah, on, so right? Don't even worry about it. We're fine. Right. It's good. Yeah, these are the colder, but what are you talking uh, about? I, I know. I mean, I, I thought I was just... I do the same thing. I'm very superstitious. <laughs> you know that about me. Like I changed out where my lawnmower is in my garage and put the, you know, the the other thing, the four letter the S word blower yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, the S word yeah. blower um, in there. Uh, and I thought I was going to jinx it, but I did that about, you know, a week ago. I'm going the other way. I've got my patio furniture still out. <laughs> I'm like, we're fine. We'll leave it out. I grilled over the weekend. We're fine. I mean, why yeah, not? We're, we're good. Right? Yeah. Let's live in the moment. Yeah, I'm going the other way. Let's go. I'll be in trouble when it actually happens. Though, yeah. Like, oh, quick, clean everything up. Quick. Right, right. And then you just leave it till spring and deal with it then. <laughs> you just let it sit there. All right, howdy everybody. I guess the story this morning, the temps, which are right around 32, which means there's going to be some frost. And it might actually be really thick frost where, you know, you walk on a, on a, on a wood surface, like a deck, or if you have front stairs that are wood, you know, outside, obviously. Um, they might actually be a little slippery. So uh, watch your step a little bit. 30 gray, Lewiston's 30 right now. Buxton and Arundel at 32. Waterboro the same. Sanford's 29. Up in uh, the mountains, Rumford 26, Berlin, New Hampshire 23. And we have similar numbers in eastern and northern Maine. Notice the coastline in the 40s already for the most part, except for Cherryfield. Uh, but Bangor and Orono and Belfast and Herman all near or below freezing. Dover Foxcroft is 29. So the air mass is cold at this moment, but winds are going to take over and they're going to come in off of the water. And that's actually going to warm us up. Usually that doesn't happen, but this time of the year, the water temp is still up around 50. This high protecting us now will give way to this slow moving front, which is gathering some moisture and this will be moving on in late today, tonight and more so tomorrow. And a lot of it will just be plain old rain because our temps won't support the frozen stuff. Clouds are already dominating this morning and there may be a few breaks of sun, but I don't expect much today. It's a mainly cloudy day. Very frosty away from the coastline. Midday, mainly cloudy, breeze off the water, so temps start to moderate. Look at all the communities in the mid 40s at this point. And then during the afternoon and early evening, it's gray, it's gloomy, and there will be some showers out there, mostly in western Maine in the mountains and also over in New Hampshire. I can't rule out a couple of sprinkles or stray showers elsewhere, but many will stay rain free, just cloudy and kind of depressing at times, but our temps will be above freezing. So again, little if any wintry precipitation, and you can see the showers become more numerous as we enter the nighttime. Upper 40s for the coastline, mid 40s inland, up north and in the mountains, it's around 40 degrees. There'll be a breeze of about five to 15 miles per hour off of the water. Tonight, tomorrow, that area of rain will be moving through, especially tomorrow morning, and then we'll gradually taper it off during the afternoon. This system slides east of us on Thursday. We'll be clearing out briefly mild, and then the chillier air comes in for the end of the week and the weekend. But this high will be in a good spot. I talked to you yesterday about the chances for a storm, and it looks like that storm is going to stay offshore, blocked by this high. It'll be breezy, it'll be chilly, but it should stay storm free through both weekend days. Tonight, tomorrow, as this rain comes through, some of the highest elevations might pick up a little bit. Same with the Allagash, but again, it's mostly rain. Marine forecast sees three to four feet. Southeast winds 10 to 20 knots, water 48 degrees. Mostly cloudy today with the chance for a few afternoon showers. And then tonight, and tomorrow, we'll end up with periods of rain both days in the mid 40s. Thursday, after we clear out, it turns warm 50 degrees in the afternoon Then the chillier air returns on Friday, a high near 45 mix of sun and clouds over the weekend. Mostly cloudy both weekend days might be a few flurries around on Saturday morning, uh, but the storm should stay offshore. We'll keep an eye on it um, and temps will be cold in the upper 30s to around 40 and more sunshine to start next week with chilly air in the uh, low 40s there. So. At the moment, our weekend looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, obviously cold and breezy, but no big storms and a lot of people are running around doing things. So that's good. Uh, well, we're, you know, clocks ticking on certain events. Yes. So we got to get going. So all right, exactly. sir, thank you very much. Yeah.